What's up guys? Today we're joined by Justin from ESA Solar. What's up brother? Hey, man. Justin is a solar expert and I wanted to bring him on and talk about the ins and outs of a solar installation, what you can expect in terms of your monthly savings. You just got this maybe installed, right? Yeah. A few months ago? Yeah. Yeah, we got it installed last December. Okay. And what would you say your uh, average utility bill was uh, before the solar installed? Depending on the season, it ranged between $100 and $130. So summertime, obviously, when we're cranking the AC. Try it. What would you say the average is now, like, let's say for summertime? Uh, zero. So sometimes in the wintertime, I'll, I'll have, I'll produce so much electricity, I'll have like a $20 credit to use in the summer. Oh, so wow. then ultimately, I'll end up with zero. You know, there's different things that you can do. You can do a lease or you can do, what, monthly payments? Right? Yeah, yeah. So in Florida, the only options are really loan or lease. Okay. So those are the two main options available. Personally, we decided to buy our system. Uh, I see it as a really strong investment. You know, it's a seven-year payback period for us, and because of that, um, you know, from an investment vehicle standpoint, I'm always going to be using electricity. So do I want to continue rent my electricity from the utility, or do I want to own an asset that can offset that expense and put money back in my pocket? Sure. So the, the one thing to consider is if you're going to be in the house for a few years, it makes more sense to purchase it because you'll be able to recoup that savings as well as if you're going to be selling your house, a lease system is a little bit trickier. It's a little bit more of a muddy sale and some uh, potential new homeowners may not want to have that extra payment. Uh, in addition to their new home price. So that's something to consider. What about in terms of like the size of the system? Is that something that you really, you know, think is important? Yeah, it, it really depends on your electricity use and how energy efficient your home is, also the size of your home. So it really depends. I mean, for us, we wanted to be able to have 100% of our electricity offset over the course of a year. Okay. And really, I think that's the goal that you want to aim for. Um, assuming that you have enough roof space and, and and you don't use an extreme amount of electricity. So roof space, obviously these mid-century homes are perfect for that, nice and flat. Do you want to have it a little bit west facing or south? Yeah, so the ideal direction is south, Okay. right? So you always want to face your solar towards the equator. Um, but east and west really is not that bad. So ours is facing east because we have an east and a west facade um, of our roof. And so, you know, if it were to be south, we'd maybe get three or four percent more electricity out of the system. So it's pre pretty negligible. Yeah. Um, you definitely don't want to face it north, though. Yeah. Okay. Are you seeing this, you know, becoming a, you know, really a prevalent thing in, in what homeowners are looking for at all? Yeah. I mean, so I've been working in solar for about ten years now. Um, okay. The cost of electricity from these these solar projects has dropped tremendously over the past even five years, close to eighty percent. Um, so these solar panels alone would have been more expensive than the entire system 10 years ago. So we've seen dramatic cost reductions. Now, even if you're financing it over a 20 year period, your monthly payment will be lower than what you would be paying for the electricity from the utility. Okay. So we're already seeing uh, solar get to a point where it's extremely cost competitive. They call it grid parity. So okay. you're at the level of what the grid cost is. Yeah. Um, and so for us, it made it was a no brainer. And in terms of environmentally, you know, your I guess your yeah, carbon footprint is yeah. uh, lower, right? Yeah. I mean, Orlando is about 50% coal still. Okay. So we have a pretty significant amount of electricity. OUC is only about 2% renewable energy. So pretty low. We have a pretty uh, fossil fuel intensive energy mix here in Orlando. So trying to become more reliant on renewable energy resources is pretty personal to us and so it's another added benefit um, and we have an electric car so it makes sense to just charge it off the system yeah the other thing to consider when you're adding a solar system is in terms of you you know what kind of a property value you should expect it, it kind of depends you know if, if you're on a really high level house that a lot of other people in the area potentially have solar, then it is gonna be good for you. It's gonna help you sell your property faster. Um, but if you've already improved your house to a level that's potentially higher than those around you, you're not necessarily gonna see that type of savings. So don't think just because you're paying 20 grand uh, to get a solar system, you're gonna recoup that 20 grand if you sell it you know, the next year. So just, it's not, it's not always black and white, but obviously it's a huge benefit for your monthly payment. Uh, so you have to kind of consider, you know, all options. Yeah, and most systems are warranted for 20 to 25 years. So if you're only in year five, right, and you go to sell your home, 
and you know the system has a 20 year lifetime ahead of it and it's going to generate a hundred dollars of savings per month for the next 20 years sure you can kind of back into that number sure and like you said it's not black and white but there's definitely some gray scale to what is the value of this asset and i think zillow just put out a report on it improving that value of a home national renewable energy lab did a recent analysis so we're seeing it, but again, it's it's a very, um, it's a moving target. Yeah. Because electricity prices go up and down, right? What about, you know, those huge wind, uh, tur tur you know, turbines? Could, would you, did you ever consider doing that instead of solar? Not in Florida. Okay. Florida doesn't have enough wind resource to make it work. Ah, yes. Very wise, yeah. Justin. Yes. <laughs> Sunshine right. State. Right? Sunshine State. So, hey, man, thanks for coming on. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thanks and uh, if you guys have any more questions, we'll uh, hit his link on the bottom. All right. See you.